Sa mga nagsasalitang, sa mga, nags, sa mga prospects na nagsasalitang ganun, I'm sorry. Right? For me, you don't deserve to be parents. You do not deserve to be parents. Uy! <laughs> What's cooking money in life movement? JJ Ramos here. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. And it's time again for Bogus Friday. Sorry if you caught me in a bad time because uh, I'm having my lunch here at this this wonderful Japanese restaurant. And now, uh, <clears throat> Ano ko naman na maayos na dito ko gagawa ng mga ng next few episodes ko for this show. So, thank you Kachigaro. Okay? You should try, you should, you guys should try this restaurant. Now, <clears throat> I came across this uh, blog post of mine called, at that time, it's, it's entitled, Choose Between Work Versus Life. Now, I uh, edited, edited it a little bit for 2020. It's called work versus life. The choice, uh, a choice must be made. So, well, basically, it was inspired by it was inspired by the trillion dollar man himself, Dan Pena. He said in one of his talks, "There's no such thing as work-life balance." I believe in this. All right. Work-life balance, okay, is a concept um, formulated by big companies and uh, and some human resource expert to keep uh, to keep employees happy, to keep employees in line, right? Let's be let's be truthful about that. To keep employees in line, but in reality, there's no such thing. There is no such thing as work-life balance, okay? Dan Peña is right about that. Now, you're asking, JG, there's no such thing as work-life balance. Eh, paano yung sinasabi sa akin ng mga boss ko, ng mga, ng mga upline ko, na dapat balancing natin ang, ang negosyo tsaka, bu negosyo tsaka buhay? I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to break it to you, but there is no such thing. There's no such fucking thing. What there is, is this. Work versus life. Right? There's a line in between them. You have to see that line. You either make that choice between work and your personal life. If you want to be, uh, well, if you want to be happy, choose life. But if you're bored as hell, you might choose work or business. For me, I always choose life. Because well, kumunahin nyo ang personal na buhay nyo. Okay? Walang masama sa, walang masama sa trabaho or, or negosyo. We all need that. Okay? We all need that. Pero kung yun ang kumunahin mo, paano na yung mga makal mo sa buhay? Paano na ang sarili mo? What about yourself? Okay? There is such a thing as self-care, you know. There is such a thing as self-care. Mabuti ba self-care? It exists, alright? It exists. Compared to work like balance, there's no such thing. Right? It was only formulated by big companies and some human resource experts just to keep employees in line. Okay? Inulit ko na, inulit ko na naman yan. When it comes to network marketing, there's also no such thing as work-life balance. Okay? Maybe you've forgotten. Maybe some of you have forgotten. Network marketing is a people business. Without... <coughs> excuse me. Without happy people, you can't run a network marketing business. If none of your downlines is happy with their personal life, you have to you have to extend a helping hand, right? If they're happy with their personal lives, then doing a network marketing business is easy. Motivating them is easy. 
Kasi masaya sila sa kanilang mga personal na buhay. Eh. So, what, what more have they got to lose? They have their families, their friends backing them up. They have, they are completely, uh, what's called this? They completely love themselves. You know, <clears throat> I repeat, network marketing is a people business. Okay? Ang personal na buhay, factor yan sa productivity ng isang network marketing team. Right? Na kung yari, kung yari lang, if a downline of yours approaches you that, um, sabi niya, uh, there's, uh, he's having marital, he or she is having marriage problems, and they want to sort it out first before they go active again in your network marketing team, let it. Or, uh, offer your help. Okay? You either, you either understand your situation and uh, let them do as they wish, or nga, extend the helping hand. Tutal kayo naman ang up, ikaw naman ang upline niya. Being an upline does not uh, stop when you sign them up. Okay? The sign of a true upline is when you can extend a helping hand outside of the business. Okay? Kasi, tinuloy mo, sil tinu mo silang kaibigan eh. Friends help each other. Diba? But don't ask anything in return. Alright? Swap ang ganun. You are greedy as fuck. You'll be greedy as fuck to them. Kaya, you either offer them help or let them do as they wish. Kung maganda ang pakisama mo sa mga downlines mo, when they have, when they encounter personal problems and when they finally solve it, they will come back to you. Always leave the door open when it comes to, when it comes to this. Kaya, sabi ko, kaya, sabi ko sa inyo, there is such a thing as work, versus life. The line is there. Don't ignore it. You have a choice. Okay? There is a choice. There's no such thing as work-life balance. Ako, I choose life. So, if you haven't uh, seen that blog post yet, link it in the description. Okay? On to the objection of the week. Guys, I'm here to um, I'm here to promote a a long-standing uh, home-based business of mine. It's called Load Extreme, and well. Sila lang naman ang pioneers ng universal prepaid loading eh. Sa buong mundo. Okay? They've been around since 2000s. I became a member. <clears throat> I signed up for the technology in 2008 because I was so... I was so fucking tired of, um, running, out of running out of load at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sure you relate that. I'm sure you relate to that. We're in... Uh, you lose, uh, you lose a lot of data in just one sitting. Then it's the middle, of, it's the middle of the night, and you just can't go out right now to look for a store to to sell you some load or to sell you prepaid load. Out of the question, okay? So I signed up in 2008. Then they rebranded somewhere, sometime in the mid to uh, mid 2000. The early 2010s to V Mobile. Then in 2015, uh, I became a dealer because I was so satisfied with their service. Then a year later, they went back to Load Extreme. Now, this, what you see here, okay, is the V Mobile stock 
uh, user card. Okay. I usually offer this for 300 pesos. This one alone. Okay. Wala pang load to. Wala pang load to. Okay. Kayo maglo-load nito. This is a 300 peso value. But, okay. But, if you can refer me a potential dealer. Mm -hmm. See this? See that? See that? Yeah. Okay, see that card? Yeah. I will give one of these to you for free. Okay? For every successful dealer sign up. Okay? I'm going to give this to you for free. Now, it's considered a uh, rarity these days. The V Mobile stock, kasi nagrevert nagrevert back to Load Extreme kasi ang ang company, so they rebranded themselves back to Load Extreme, leaving this as well. All this, you can say it's a uh, price collection if you're if you're a collector of prepaid cards. Now, let me let me be clear on this. This is not a telco, okay. This is just a service provider for universal prepaid loading. Okay, let me show you that. Yeah, okay. So, nakakaintindihan na tayo. Now, you have to, all this, you have to DM me through Instagram or, or my Facebook page. Okay, use the code. JG Ramos. Okay? It's in the subtitles already. Use the code JG Ramos so you can avail of this. You can avail of this for free. Okay? Once you refer a potential dealer and he or she signs up. Okay? Pag naging dealer yon, I mean yung nagbayad siya na nagbayad siya na initial investment and of course uh, na meet ko na na part of my team this one is for free sayo na to alright you just use the code JG Ramos para ma-identify ko that you're a feeling of this you're a feeling of this very special promo now let me repeat this card normally sells for 300 pesos but if you refer a dealer to me, pag nag-sign up siya, sa'yo na to. Nagkakaintindihan pa tayo. Okay? So, good luck guys. Happy hunting! Hmm. Oh, sponsors are done. <laughs> and it's time for the objection of the week. Now, I've encountered the first time I've, en I've encountered this objection while I was on a bus. I was talking to um, a seatmate of mine. Sa, hindi, actually, katabi ko sa bus. I was telling them about uh, what I do okay, and what products and what products I offer. As I was at Film Life at the time. Okay, I was on my way uh, to Film Life. Uh, I think Makati. Yeah, there are Makati office there. <clears throat> I was on my way and suddenly a suddenly a, what is, a middle-aged lady at the time biglang sumingit na nagsabi well, this is actually the objection of the week, right? Here's what that lady said. Kids are also an investment. At that time, I was speechless. <clears throat> I let that uh, I let that objection slide. Kasi hindi naman siya talaga kausap ko eh. But, if someone were to give me that kind of an objection, first step, well, I don't want to just, I won't go into justification mode. Nope. Kung yun ang prospect ko, I would instantly go to justification mode. But, fast forward to 2020, if I had that kind of a prospect now, nope, I wouldn't justify. 
I wouldn't justify. But I what I would do is this, okay? Nyare kayo ang prospect. And you gave me this objection. My kids are my investment. <clears throat> Here's what I will tell you. Ma'am, sir. Hindi na, sorry po kung, well, hindi ko po kasi magets yung yung mindset nyo regarding what you said. Could you please enlighten me? You're acknowledging the opinion of the prospect. So, kaya mo tinatanong na, could you enlighten me on that? Let them talk. Or, you would do it this way. Sir, ma'am, um, I know deep in my heart na you, you did not mean what you just said. But please, could you enlighten me on that? Wag muna kayo mag, what's it gonna take? <laughs> there are, these, this objection is one of the rare cases wherein you should, wherein you should not probably use the uh, what's it gonna take close. Okay? It's a sensitive objection. Right? Treat it that way. Okay? Of course, the first step is always never go into justification mode. <clears throat> Yung nga, get to the bottom of it. Seek the bottom line of that objection. Tanongin nyo. Let the prospect clarify on what on on this objection sasaritayan because you're asking for an explanation eh. <clears throat> now you would normally encounter this kind of an objection kung if you feel that the prospect has a poor man's mindset i say usually yan ang mga yan ang mentality ng mga mahihirap ngayon eh. The more kids they got, the better their, the better their chances of getting out of poverty, which is entire, which is ninety percent not true. Okay, <clears throat> if you're the prospect, if you're the prospect, why would you say such a thing? Why would you say such a thing? But, Gagawin mo, palang, gagawin, mo palang, gagawin mo palang ATM ang mga anak mo. Eh, well, I'm very sure they're going to lead lives of their own. They're going to raise, they're going to raise their own families. Diba? So why treat them as investments? Sa mga, nagsasalitang, sa mga, sa mga prospects na nagsasalitang ganun, I'm sorry. Right? For me, you don't deserve to be parents. You do not deserve to be parents. Okay? My own parents did not see me as an investment. Okay? They make me... They make me choose. They make me... Um, what's called this? They make me have my own decisions. Kung nagkamali man ako... Uy, excuse me. Mukhang ano na alarm ko. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Feeling it. <laughs> then this happens. Now, as I was saying, if you're a prospect and you and you always say that, not because na salesman yung kaharap mo or uh, yeah, or network marketer yung kaharap mo, talagang yun ang mindset mo. You don't deserve to be a parent. Okay? I'm rather I'm rather sensitive on that myself because, well, my parents didn't treat me as an investment. Okay? They respected my decision when I chose my college course. They even respected my decision when I decided to to quit my profession and get into network marketing full time.
they they express their disappointment but pero that's it right yun ang magulang yun ang magulang but if you treat your kids as an investment personally you don't deserve to be a parent okay single ako pero May mga magulang ako na hindi ako tinrato bilang investment. Okay? Now, getting back. <clears throat> if you're the sales professional, alright? Show restraint. Okay? Show restraint when someone gives you this kind of objection because it's that sensitive. Now, <clears throat> sensitive objections require sensitive clarifications. Okay, ulitin natin. Ulitin natin rebuttal ko. Ma'am, hindi naman po sa nagmamarunong ako po or whatever. Um, hindi ko po magets yung hindi ko po magets yung mindset nyo yan, yung mentality nyo. Could you please enlighten me on that? Ask them, bakit ganun ang pagkakasabi nila? They'll open up. Right? Because you're acknowledging, you're acknowledging the objection. Okay? And you're a bit apologizing for, well, for not, uh, for not understanding. Okay? You are leveling. You're being honest. You're being honest with the prospect. Kasi nga, di ba? You're trying to get the prospect's trust. So, yun. <clears throat> Normally, if you're selling financial services, you would get this kind of an objection. Siguro sa network marketing, probably half the time. Probably half the time. Especially kung senior citizen ang ano mo, ang prospect mo. Or siguro mga 50s na may, na may anak ng 20 plus, mga parang ganon. And you're trying to uh, get them to do network marketing. Again, it's a sensitive objection. So, approach it sensitively. Not exactly, well, you don't have to follow the rebuttal, the, uh, the my suggested rebuttal. But, be sensitive. Okay? This objection is no, although rare, it's a sensitive one. Okay? The biggest step you'll take is not to is to not justify. Don't go into justification mode, especially when it comes to objections like this. And you'll be alright. <clears throat> you'll probably make a sale or, well, sign up a new downline. If you, if you treat this, uh, if you treat a sensitive objection like this, as it is. Sensitive, Give it a sensitive approach. If you found value in this episode, well, you know the drill. Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell. And comment with done. You do all three? I'll give you a shout out in the next available episode. I'll even feature your channel on my end screen. Of course, in the next available episode. Right? So, does that sound like a fair deal? It should. All right, it should. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching it all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, Money and Life Movement.